Hi everybody, it's January 12, 2018. I'm just going to address a couple of questions that subscribers have been asking about Sam's club closings and this continuity of government that they are quietly preparing for. These questions stemming from because they left links to Truth Unveiled 777. Something major planned for 2018? If not, then why is this happening? Continuity of government. Uh, they have prepared for the continuity of government for every State of the Union address. Every January, U.S. federal agencies quietly prepare for the change in the continuity of government condition, COGCON, level during the annual State of the Union address because you've got the President and you have everybody in line for the presidency. You have all of Congress and the US Supreme Court all in one building. So if another country wanted to bomb us that would be the perfect time to do it. Hence the reason why they do these continuity of government exercises. This is not anything I'm alarmed about but we have known for years anything could happen. We have lived now with the oh my god that anything could happen? Well, it happened. Um, weather events and and we're living in unprecedented time. So, um, we can speculate all we want about what's going to be happening January 30, but I don't think that our federal agencies quietly preparing for a change in the continuity of government condition is um, a good reason to do that. It doesn't indicate that something's going to be happening January 30 since they do this every single year. Now there's an awful lot going on. China has officially announced that war is not far, but that war is with India and won't that be fun? The two nuke powers at war with one another we still have an awful lot going on. You know, all of the hype about North Korea, that is the periodic propaganda that they have pulled out my entire adult life. North Korea, crazy, crazy leaders. And it's been going on forever. So they pull out, oh my God, North Korea, it's going to be bombing the United States when experts have already stated that they do not have the missiles, they do not have the capability to reach the West Coast. They don't have the capability to reach inside the United States, but that's what mainstream media tells everybody because they want Americans to be on the edge of their seats all the time, terrified it's the terrorists. No, it's North Korea. Oh, now it's Iran. And now, all right, look, we have the crazy leaders. Too bad Americans aren't afraid of their own. They should be. Um, so now, apparently, all of the North Korea talk, now Trump is in um, talks with Kim Jong-un, and they're apparently going swimmingly. Uh, although now both Koreas, North and South, are talking to one another and they're, we're not liking that. No, 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 no. South Korea, you have to continue to regard North Korea as your enemy. And in fact, when you are in bilateral talks with each other, we're just going to send nuke capable bombers to Guam. You know, that show of force. You know, that bigger button that we have. Um, God, I'm so sick of this country. And yeah, I'm sick of Americans who just buy all of the lies. Um, so, you know, who's to know? We are living a time when anything can happen. Americans, you are not to have any security any longer. And I think Walmart just showed you that, didn't they? In fact, Walmart 
just announced after they did those closings of Sam's Clubs, they're going to be cutting more than 1,000 corporate jobs the fiscal year on January 31. It will be completed. Um, so they're going to be sending out an awful lot of pink slips. Now we do have a change in the economy. We have a change that's going digital and that's going e-commerce, right? The, look at what Bloomberg, Bloomberg thinks that the closing, that was a good move. But dumb PR, yeah. So Bloomberg writes, Walmart handled the delivery of the 63 Sam's Club's closing rather poorly, rather poorly. Now that is a gross understatement. They just slap in the face their employees and their customers that went to that Sam's Club, found a notice on the door, closed. We don't give a shit about you. We don't care about our employees and we don't care about our customers. We will give you no advance notice because, hey, Americans, you no longer live in that time when you got any kind of advance notice, when corporations actually took care of their employees, that was decades ago, that time is gone and it ain't coming back. So now corporations can do whatever the hell they want to do and too bad for us. I mean, people should be outraged and Every American should stop going to all of the Sam's Clubs that are littered all over the country. They won't do that. But um, how many jobs will be slashed? Could be around 10,000. Many people are speculating that these Sam's Clubs have to do with um, the ones that will not be the distribution centers that Walmart claims, the 12 of the 63 will be distribution centers for the e-commerce that is taking place. Uh, but, okay, what's happening with all of the others that have just closed abruptly? Don't know. Uh, we can speculate all we want. I will link below to these videos. And I actually subscribe to this woman. I don't mind cursing, but I don't, I know that a lot of you do. So if you don't like cursing, um, don't click on the link. But um, I like listening to people that sound sincerely upset with what is taking place. But here, um, Yvonne is talking about how, yeah, it could be related to Sam's Club. They perhaps using those uh, warehouse stores and re renovating them for, um, sorry, a cat just smashed into my window. <laughs> I have a ledge outside my window. All right. Um, that they could be using these stores for FEMA centers. Who knows? Who knows? But I don't get alarmed with any of this. I don't get freaked out. I don't, you know, I just think, all right, well, look, we have been here for years. And we already saw Walmart picking up people in Houston during the floods and bringing them into a Walmart. And there were an awful lot of people who were very surprised about this. We still don't know what happened to thousands and thousands of people. Um, 
It almost sounds like I have cats fighting. Do you hear that noise? Sorry. Anyway, so um, things are going on that we don't know. And that's clear. When you have over a million homes flooded in Houston and the surrounding area, and mainstream media reports it as 40,000 homes flooded, well, something is very wrong with that picture. And when you have so many people who have been displaced by these weather events, and we don't know where they are, when we have so many people with their phones, you know, social media and people posting on Facebook and YouTube, and but we hardly got any videos from just ordinary citizens in these areas, California fires, Houston uh, flood. Yeah. I, I do believe that there's an awful lot happening that we just don't know, and it's very concerning. But again, I can't say anything definitively because I don't know. All we can do is speculate. I did look into where these closings took place, and it seems a little odd to me that Walmart can say that they closed all of these stores because they weren't doing well financially, Sacramento, City of Industry. I mean, most of the locations, and I went on Google Maps, you know, Lithonia, Georgia. Okay, let's just see. Now, one would think one closing of Sam's Club in this area, well, it has so many that, yeah, all right, close one because it's not doing well financially. Now, why Walmart decided to do that? Well, I think it's deliberate. It is telling Americans, we are not going to give you any kind of security. You have no safety. Um, you now, when you get up to get dressed to go to work in the morning, now you can have in the back of your mind, consciously or unconsciously, that your job may not be available for you. Um, but... If they close one Sam's Club in this area, that's not alarming. But they also closed it in Worcester, Massachusetts. But in Worcester, Massachusetts, which is a densely pop populated area, um, they only had one. I can't believe that Sam's Club in Worcester, Massachusetts was not doing well. So it's unfortunate. Look, we live in the country of lies. We live in the country of deception. We live in a country where we're left with just guessing about virtually everything that takes place. That is our country today. That's our life here today. And yes, do I um, considering what has taken place, you know, is it a surprise to me that so many people are looking at, oh my God, something's going to happen, Sam's Club, now Walmart's going to be refashioning all of these buildings into FEMA centers? It's not. It's not, because that's a reality that we now live. So, of course, people, you know, speculate in the negative. Um, I don't see things as negative or positive. I just see it as reality. But I don't 
we've seen what was coming for a long time. And I just, I'm, I feel badly for all of these employees. <laughs> now without work. Hey, but Trump claims that the economy is doing swell. It's not. That's another lie. People are still having a very difficult time finding work. But yes, I'll leave you with this. Every American should be outraged that Walmart could have treated their customers and their employees as they have. But I'm sure people are just still walking into the Sam's Clubs that are open. All links are below.